We begin now at the top of Daf Beis Amud Aleph from Maseches Yuma. This is Yuma Daf Two A. The Mishnah says Shiva Siyomim Kodem Yom Hakipurim. Seven days before Yom Kippur, Mafrishin Kohen Gadol Mi Beiso. We separate the Kohen Gadol from his house, the Lishkas Parhedrin to the Lishka to the chamber of the Parhedrin. Umaskinin Lo Kohen Acher Tachtov. We also appoint another Kohen instead of him, Shemo Yeyare Bopsol, because we're afraid maybe he'll become Pasul. Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Rabbi Yehuda says, Afisha Acheres Maskin, we even prepare for him a different wife. Shema Tomos Ishto, maybe his wife will die. Shemer, like the Pasuk says, Vechiper Ba'ado V'yad Beso. It says he's going to do a kapar, an atonement for himself and his household. Beso Zu Ishto, and Beso refers to his wife. Amrulo, so they said back to him, they said back to Rabbi Yehuda, and Cain, if that's the case, if you're worried that his wife is going to die, ain't ladover. So if there's no end to the amount of things that you can be concerned for. Rashi over here says, Shivas Yamim Kodim Yom Kippurim, Rafrishin Kohen Gadol, Shekol Avodas Yom Kippurim, Enoch Sheira Elabo. The Avod of Yom Kippur is only kosher with the Kohen Gadol. Kediyol of Behorius, Bepharak Basra, like we learn out in Horius. Tehsiv Gabi Yom Kippurim, Vechiper HaKohen Asher Yimshach Oso. The Kohen who is anointed, that's the one who has to do the Kapara. The Gemara is going to explain why we have to separate him uh, again away from his house to the Lishkas Parhedrin. The Lishkas Parhedrin, Kach Shema, that's the name of the chamber. The Gemara will explain why that's what it's called. We prepare another Kohen to be a substitute for him. Why? Maybe he's going to become possible because he'll become a Balkari. Oshar Tumah, or some other kind of Tumah, he will become Tameh. Hama'akvin mi lova l'mikdash, and then he'll be held back from entering the Beis HaMikdash, so we need to have another Kohen to replace him. Uviad Beiso, it says that when he does the Avod on Yom Kippur, it's a kapara for his household. Gabe Yom HaKippur, Mksib Ba'achareimos. It says this Pasuk, Ba Yom Kippur, so in other words, he has to have a wife. That's why in case his wife dies, we have to prepare uh, another wife as a substitute. So the Gemara says, or rather the uh, Chachamim, Seder of Yehuda, Im Kain, if so, Dechayash Lamisa, if you're afraid of death, Ein Ludav Sof, Shema Gam Zutamus, maybe the, the second wife that you're appointing will also die. There's no end, so therefore we shouldn't be concerned with that possibility. And the Gemara begins, Tanan Hasam, we learned in a mission over there, this is a mission in Masechus Para, it's in reference to the Para Aduma. It says, Shivas Yomim Kodim Sreifas Hapara, seven days before they would burn the Para Aduma, they would separate the Kohen who did the Avoda there, who burned the Parah Aduma from his house, to the chamber that was on the tower in the northeast. And this particular chamber was called the Lishkas Beso Evan. Why was it called the Lishkas Beso Evan? Because everything that was done in this chamber was done with kalim made out of dung, or kalim made out of stones, or kalim made out of earth. My time, but the Gemara says, what's the reason for this? Why did they? Why were they careful to only use kalim that couldn't become tummy? So the Gemara explains. We know that a, a Tvul Yom, somebody who immersed in the mikvah but did not yet wait for sundown, didn't wait for the end of the day. So he's not totally pure. He's what we call a Tvul Yom. Halach is that a Tvul Yom is kosher for para aduma. The Tanan, as we learned in the Mishnah, they used to purposely be metami, the Kohen that would burn the para aduma, umat vilano, so, and they would immerse him in the mikvah. Lahotzi miliban shel tzedukim to show that the opinion of the tzedukim was incorrect. Shahayu omrim, omrim, because they used to say b'murave Hashem eshayis anasis. They used to say that you can only do the avod of the paraduma. You can only do the sreif of the paraduma when the uh, when the sun goes down, when the person is completely pure, no longer a tzvul yom. So the rabbanu wanted to show that's incorrect. Even a tzvul yom can do the uh, the the uh, the avod or the sreif of the paraduma. So takinu lo rabbonon kle glolim kle avonim kle adama. So because of this, the rabbonon said, we're going to make sure that everything you do involving para aduma is going to only be with vessels of, of glolim, again, of dung or stone or earth. Delo le tumah, because those vessels are not makabal tumah. Ki hechi delo le That way people are not mezalzal in para aduma. If they're going to see a tvul yom is doing it, they might think not to take it seriously. In order to make sure people take it seriously, we use only kalim that are not going to be makabal tumah. And the Gemara continues, What's the difference that they chose to separate this Kohen that did the para aduma to the northeast of the Azara? So the Gemara explains, Kevan de Chatos, he, since the Parah Aduma is referred to as a Chatos, the Chatos to Unat Tzifona, the halach is that in general a Chatos needs to be done in the north. 
Uchsiv ba, but it also says by the paraduma el nochach pnei al moed that you do it towards the al moed, which is the east side, the entrance of the al moed. So takinu lo rabbanon lishkot zefonim is rachem. So therefore the rabbanon said, do it in the chamber that's in the northeast. Ki heichid el havel lo hakera. That way it'll be a recognition. It will be clear to people. Rashi over here explains first of all kevon dechatos he chatos nikris. The paraduma is called a chatos. Shenamar like it says lemei nida chatos he. The chatos to unat tzafon. Also, a chatos in general needs to be done in the north. Chatos hakrevos b'mizbeach. When you have a chatos that's actually brought in the mizbeach, nishchatos b'tzafon. That is shechted in the north. Velo shazu to unat tzafon. Now, this does not need to be in the north. Sharehi nishchatos paramishcha. Because when it comes to paradum, it's shechted in the haramishcha. It's it's uh, shechted on the mountain that's adjacent to the base hamikdash. Uchsiv beparel nochach pnei ol moed. It also says by you do it towards the ol moed, meaning b'hazoaz dom. When you sprinkle its blood, you do it towards the Al Moed. Shu Omeid Bahara Mishcha, the person is supposed to stand at the Hara Mishcha. Umiskavin Varoa Pischa Shalechel, and he should look, he has Kavana and looks at the entrance of the Hechel. Shu Bekosal Mizrachi, that's in the eastern wall. So you have your north because it's like a Chatos, and you have east because of the Nochach Pnei Al Moed. So therefore, as the Gemara says, Ki Hechi Dalave Keira, Ladaz Shahuf Rasham, people should know that it was separated over there. Kedei Lahatil Olav Avodas Parah Hakriya Chatos. People will realize the reason why it's being done over here is because he has to take care of this avoda with the paraduma, which is referred to as a chatos, utuuna mizrach, and it also requires east. The yasim lev, and this will cause the person to pay better attention. Leo zariz b'masav v'seder avodos. A person is going to be careful in everything he's doing with this. So really, this was just a hacker. Person should recognize he's performing now paraduma, and he has to be careful. And the Gemara continues now with the question referring to the mission in para. My bira. What does it What does it mean? The bira. It said again that this lishka, this chamber was at the northeast of the Azara, al Pnei Habira. What does that mean? So the Gemara says, Amar Rava Bar Barachan, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Rava Bar Barachan, says in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Mokum Hoya Baharabayis, there was a certain place in the Harabayis, so Bira Shemo, it was called Bira. Reish Lagish, Amar Reish Lagish says, Kol HaMikdash Kulo Kari Bira. Really, the word Bira over there in the Mishnah refers to the entire Beis HaMikdash. It was Al Pnei Habira, it was in the northeast of the Azara of the Beis HaMikdash. Shanamar, like the Pasuk says, Habira Asher Achinosi. There it uses the word Bira as a reference to the Beis HaMikdash. And the Gemara now asks, Menahani Mili, where do we learn this from? In other words, where do we learn that when it comes both to Yom Kippur and when it comes to the Parah Aduma, you have to do a separation for the Kohen? Gemara says it's learned from a pasuk. Amar Rav Menyume Bar Chilki, Amar Rav Machsia Baridi, Amar Rav Yochanan. Rav Menyume Bar Chilki says in the name of Rav Machsia Baridi, in the name of Rav Yochanan. Amar Krok, because the pasuk says, "Kasher Osa Bayom Azet Sivu Hashem Lasos Lachaper Alechem." What is this pasuk talking about? Take a look at Rashi. Kasher Osa B'Miluim. This refers to the Shivas Yemei Miluim. This was when they prepared to inaugurate the Mishkan. Shetzivo Sam Lif Rosh Mi Beis Sam Zayin Yomim. It was the same thing over there. They said that everyone has to separate from their houses for seven days. Shenemar like the pasuk says, "U Pesach Ol Moi Teshvu Yomim Valayla." U Vashmini Avdu, and it was on the eighth day that they did the Avoda. Shenemar like it says, "Vayi Bayom Ashmini Kara VeGomer Uchsiv Kara VeLamizbech VeGomer Kasher Tziva." Uh, we're learning from this Pasuk that this idea of separating seven days before the Avodah on the eighth day, doing a separation of seven days before the Avodah, it's Tziva Lasos Lodoros. There's something that you do similar to this for all generations. As we're going to say, it happens both by the Parah Aduma and by Yom Kippur as the Gemara Darshans. Again, Kasher also by Yom Azeh, Tziva Hashem Lasos Lachaper Aleichem. Lasos, what does the word Lasos refer to? Elu Maisei Parah, that refers to Parah Aduma. You also have to separate seven days when it comes to Parah Aduma. And Lachaper, what does the word Lachaper refer to? Elu Maisei Yom Kippurim, that refers to Yom Kippur. So the Gemara says, "Bishlamu kulei krab parah lo masukam." I understand you don't want to say the entire pasuk is only referring to parah aduma lechaper ksev because it says it's for a kapara for an atonement. Upara la bas kaparhi. The parah aduma has nothing to do with kapara. Ela ema kulei krab yom kippur ksev. But why do you say the entire pasuk is only referring to yom kippur? Just like by the shivas yemei miluam, you did a separation for seven days. So to on yom kippur, and maybe we have no source for parah aduma. So to that, the Gemara says, Amri Yolif Tziva Tziva. That's really learned, the answer is follows, that's really learned from Akzer Shav of the word Tziva. Ksivacha Tziva Hashem Lasos, it says over here again, by the Shivas Yimei Luem Tziva Hashem Lasos. Uchsiv and it says over there, by Parah Aduma Zos Chukas HaTorah, Asher Tziva Hashem, it uses the same language, Asher Tziva Hashem Lemor, Malahal and Parah, just like over there, we're referring to Parah Aduma, Afkan, Parah Soto over here in this Pasuk, we're talking about Parah Aduma, Umakan Prisha, and just like over here, we're talking about a separate 
separation, Aflahalan Prisha. So to over here, we're talking about a separation. And we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Bay's Umud Base.